Hello, my name's John and welcome to this, the ninth Coat of Armies painting tutorial for Warlord Games Epic Battles and Napoleonics. Uh, today, as you can see, I'll be looking at the British Battalion Officer. Ninth video in, so it will come as no surprise that I've started with uh, Rattle Can Chaos Black from Games Workshop as a primer and uh, White Scar Heavy Dry Brush to uh, pick out the details. So, let's make a start. So we'll kick off with a coat of uh, Vallejo's Leather Brown. Yeah, you can do all the uh, horse tack as well because that will just end up the same colour anyway. And of course Vallejo's Tomato Soup for the uh, officer's jacket and cockade. Uh, for my own purposes this is going to be uh, Lieutenant Colonel John Colborne of the 52nd Oxfordshire Light Infantry, but of course, paint them up as you will. Right, I've gone with a layer of uh, Games Workshop's white scarf for the saddle cloth, turned back and lightened up a couple of bits and pieces that I'll be doing in the regimental colours. So obviously stick to your own colour scheme to whoever you're doing. Blink and you'll miss this bit. Games Workshop's Kislev Flesh. Done. Games Workshop's Avedon Black for the, uh, well, start of the top. Hat, epaulette, sword and scabbard, boots, stirrups, tail, hooves, whatever that floofy thing at the front is. And uh, a little few spots on the front there. And round on the other side you've got the weird loopy thing on his shoulder there. Um, due to moulding issues, I mean, there are a couple of grey areas I found with uh, cavalry pieces like this bit in between here, so I just tend to put the reins in and black it out. I've given the horse a dry brush with uh, Games Workshop's Mournfang Brown, just to highlight the musculature. That's a big word. Due to my enthusiastic approach to dry brushing, I've... Uh, Redone the horse reins and tack with uh, Vallejo's brown leather and put in the stirrup straps and the visible bits of the saddle, of which there really isn't much. Vallejo's off white for the uh, saddle cloth and gloves. So, Vallejo's uh, buff for the co officer's collar turn back. Saddle cloth edging. Obviously, stick to your own regimental colours. I've gone with uh, Vallejo's London Grey for Mr. Moore's grey hair, and a bit of a dry brush on the floofy thing at the front. That is its official technical term now, floofy thing. I tend to use Vallejo's brass for any gold bits, so a little dabby bit on the front of his hat. Bits on the sword and scabbard, and the uh, loopy thing on his uh, off his epaulets there, and the buttons. Games Workshop's Avalon Sunset for the uh, trouser stripes, and uh, again Games Workshop lead belcher for the stirrups. Um, if you're feeling crazy enough, you can always uh, stick a horseshoe on any presented hoof. Games Workshop for the uh, officer's cummerbund or sash, call it what you will. Okay, give them a wash over with uh, Games Workshop's Nuln Oil, everybody's favourite pot to spill. And once he's dried, uh, do a couple of touches up on the uh, saddle, saddle cloth and uh, the jacket and uh, you're done. Okay, so I've... Uh, Tidy up the white on the saddle cloth and the buff. Put a bit of uh, Games Workshop's Evil Sun Scarlet on the jacket. And uh, done the base in uh, Mornfang Brown. So, base it up and we're done. So, and there we have him. Lieutenant Colonel Sir John Colborne of the 52nd Oxfordshire Light Infantry. There we go, all done and dusted. Thanks for watching. Any CNC, more than welcome. 